photographers. We're going to go to where they actually worked. Um, May 18th, um, is, we're doing this in conjunction also with Bath. There's, that's the anniversary of the Bath School bombing, 90 years. So they're going to do an all-day program in Bath. You'll want to watch for that. June 15th, we're going to walk the Cherry Hill District, which is just as you come off 496 on Grand, the neighborhood to the right that's back in there. Uh, West Side neighborhood is July 13th. Capital City Car celebration, July 29th. We're going to look at sites downtown that had some association with the automotive industry, whether it's Michigan National Bank, but there was a half dozen at least automo automobile dealerships in downtown Lansing over time, and the, the, most of the buildings are still there. They're certainly for other things. And just two things I want you to watch for. We do not have a date for this yet. We're going to do a fundraiser this uh, summer in August with, a, with an Elvis Johnny Cash impersonator uh, at the city market. It's going to be fun. This guy can sing. And also we're doing, uh, every year we've been doing a, a tour in, uh, at the MSU, and we're going to do the old, old, east, old east side of the campus, which are the dormitories, the auditorium, and things like that. That's August 26th. And there's a Moores River home tour, which hasn't been done in 15, about 15 years, and that's September 23rd. So I had some flyers out there, but I bet there's too many people here for them. But go to our website, uh, lansinghistory.org. Um, and we're busy in the summer, as you can tell. So and we do a lot of fun programming. But I'm really looking forward to tonight. Uh, Susan graciously did a walkthrough of the exhibit, which is in the in the uh, History Museum, the State History Museum, which is it's going to be up till November, mid August, August, or August okay. <laughs> and um, so you got a chance to get over there and see it. But that's modernism in Michigan, so it's a much larger. And Lansing has some things in it, but she walked us through that, and we had a huge crowd in so December, and it was really a lot of fun. So what we decided then is let's do it in a comfortable setting where people can see what happened in Lansing and Lansing Architects, and that's what we're here for tonight. Um, Susan is a person I admire because she took, see if I can get this right now. She has a passion for modernism, obviously, which became a love, and then I think it became an obsession. <laughs> because anybody that does a book like that, if anyone has ever done a, a book uh, that's based on real life, it, those things are incredibly hard to do, and you have to be committed to to do them, and she was, and I, and I think uh, mid-Michigan is better for it. I, I, I mean, I found a house, just four houses from my house, it's in the book. So, you know, you, you, you drive by these places all day long, and you don't understand what the context is, and I think it makes it more fun. So it's really a, quite a contribution, and Susan, if um, you want to start, we'll go right through it. We'll do questions and answers afterwards, and there's books for sale.